How does it feel? Uh, speechless. Uh, it's a huge honor, especially drafted by you know such an organization like Winnipeg. Um, huge honor. I'm still a little shocked, a little speechless right now, but yeah, I'm still trying to soak it in. How were the nerves going to bed last night, trying to sleep, waking up this morning? Honestly, I thought I was going to be like much more nervous and anxious, but uh, I was pretty at peace and uh, heading into today, I was pretty calm actually. So, uh, who's all here with you today? Yeah, I got a big, big group. So I have my family, uh, my Bill family made the trip down. Um, all my aunts and cousins are here and all the staff from Niagara, the owner, uh, GM, all of them are here. So my agent. How cool is it to have your village family down here? Somebody who you've obviously grown very close to the last couple of years in Niagara. It's super amazing. You know, it's kind of last minute call. They, and then, uh, yeah, obviously uh, my Bill brother gave me a little hug. So I haven't seen him in a bit. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, what have the Niagara Ice Dogs meant to getting you to this moment? Yeah, it's been everything. You know, they helped me so much, you know, developing as a person and a player, and I can't thank them enough for it. What does 16-year-old Kevin He, how far has he come from then to now? Yeah, uh, just even not, not even from 16, but growing up, I bounced around a little bit. So uh, obviously born in China and moved to Montreal and into Toronto, so I bounced around a little bit, and yeah, it's a dream come true. Talk a little bit about the honor of being the first, the earliest Chinese-born player in yeah, the NHL draft. Yeah, it's a incredible, huge honor. Um, I have a lot of, you know, fans texting me and stuff uh, right before the draft and wishing me good luck and uh, showing their support, so it's a huge honor for me. Do you think this will help grow the sport in China at all? Uh, what are your thoughts about I that? I hope so, yeah. I, I hope to be a role model for the kids, you know, trying to pick up hockey and stuff, so I, I hope so. How did hockey become your passion then, Kevin? Oh, my dad did studies abroad, uh, University of Moncton, and he picked it up from there. And I fell in love with it. Uh, I started skiing with my dad when I was really young. I did a lot of rollerblading. So, you know, in China, they don't have hockey arenas, but they had these ice pads in, in the malls. So I start, started skating with my dad over there and did a lot of rollerblading. And then I started playing uh, in a league, competitive hockey, when I moved to Montreal. So, How yeah. old were you when you moved to Montreal? There? Five and a half. Okay. Five and a half, yeah, yeah. What was it like when you played in that competitive league for the first time? And on the ice and all that. Honestly, I, I just remember skating down, falling, trying to get back up and falling again. So that was my first uh, initial uh, memory that I have. Did you know when the trade came that it might be for you? Uh, yeah, I think, so. yeah, my agent said, you know, this could be, this could be it. So I was kind of uh, anxiously waiting there a little bit, but yeah, maybe a little bit, but I wasn't sure. For What do you know about Winnipeg? Uh, another one of my friends there, uh, Colby Barlow, he was selected there, so I have some, some friends down there. And uh, I haven't been to Winnipeg, but it'll be fun. So when you came to Canada, you didn't speak English, correct? No, I didn't. And you didn't speak French either? No. So where did you pick up English and where did you pick up French? Yeah, so I went to full French school when I was in Montreal, so that's where I picked up French. And in English, I kind of just picked it up along the way, and especially when I moved to Toronto, like English school, so I kind of just picked, uh, picked up both of them. How would you describe your game for folks who haven't watched you? Uh, competitive, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm a hungry player. I want to win. I always play with the chip on my shoulder. I'm, I'm skilled as well. I can skate well and, and shoot. So Speed is big in your game, isn't it? Yes, it Talk is. about that a little bit. Yeah, that's something I've always worked on uh, growing up. A lot of you know, power skating coaches, a lot of skating. Uh, it's something I've been prioritizing and working on ever since I was a little kid. What do you think is going to be your biggest challenge in making it to the NHL as you sit here? Obviously, I think I have to put on a little bit more weight. Uh, so I've been working with that, uh, especially a lot of thanks to Matt Nickel. So we have a good program going on there in Toronto. So, yeah. You got a chance to meet Colby when the Jets drafted him. And obviously, he's a Belgian camp last year. Giving you any pro tips about what dev camp's going to look like? Uh, not really. I'm going to reach out to him, actually. So, uh, but I did talk with him. He said it was incredible experience. Just kind of, uh, especially for the draft, just try to soak it all in and just be, try to be in the moment. You still have a bunch of family back in China? Uh, most of my family are in the States, but I always have my grandparents still in China. Yeah. How many did you end up going from China to Montreal to Toronto? Uh, well, this is my dad's my dad's work, so that moved them from uh, from China to Montreal, and then obviously uh, a little bit for hockey when I moved to Toronto. So. When did you move to Toronto? When I was 12. Yeah, very good. Yeah. What does your dad do? Uh, he's a uh, accountant. He's a accountant. Yeah, I guess Growing up. Favorite team? Winnipeg Jets now. Let's go. <laughs> uh, growing up, uh, I, so my favorite player was Powell Burry. So I, I watched a lot of the Canucks play. 
Yeah, but obviously a Habs fan. I went to a few Habs games. I haven't been to a Leafs game, actually, surprisingly. But I've been to a few Habs games when I was younger. Which part of your game do you need to work on in the summertime? Uh, just obviously, like, my physical aspect, I think, putting on a little bit more weight. Yeah, that's going to help a lot, I think. I guess having had, exposure to, having had exposure to Montreal and Toronto, what's it mean to be drafted for the Canadian market and everything that comes with that? Yeah, I think it means a lot. And uh, obviously, Winnipeg, it's not too far. I think hopefully my dad can... Uh, you know, comes for me, at, at whether it's camp or something. So, yeah. You spoke about the honor of being drafted, but just kind of restate, what is it like sitting here? You've just been drafted in the fourth round of the NHL draft. What's what's going through your mind? Uh, everything, literally. So, um, a lot of things, and um, still try to soak it in and try to stay in the moment. But um, obviously, I have my family here with me, so that, that's been going on a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm an uncle now. So I have two little nephews. Uh, one of them's six months old and the other one's a year and a half. So uh, that's my first time seeing them. So um, got to play with them a little bit and uh, yeah. How big of an honor is this? It's huge. It means a lot to me and my family. I mean, it really, really does. So. You think this shows just how global the game has become? Yes, I think so. Yeah, uh, I looked up to guys like JR growing up and um, so I think hopefully I can aspire to be a role model and 